Today I'm going to show you how to add a receipt footer to all your receipts to make them a little bit more interesting and obviously you can throw in a little bit extra um, advertisement to it as well like QR codes which have been quite popular. So to do this what we need to do we need to log ourselves in, go to settings administration, go over to software settings. This is very similar to adding a receipt um, a logo as well, very similar system. So what we need to do we need to go to basic store settings. And then what we need to do, we need to upload the actual graphic that we want to show at the bottom of our receipts. Uh, we'll nip over to resources. And then what we'll do, we're gonna go click on add. Okay, this is the one I want here. As you can see, I've got a little QR code here, a few little um, uh, social media plugins is there as well. So what we'll do, we'll click on that, throw that in. Then it's gonna ask you for a name. So what we'll do, we'll just call this footer. Right, there you go. So there's the actual graphic that's actually uploaded onto our database now. So what we need to do, we need to set it so this physically uh, prints out on the receipts. So what we'll do is we'll nip over to software settings. And the quickest way to find it is literally just use the uh, filter keyword system here. So we'll click on here. Uh, we'll go to, we'll just type in footer, I believe that's what it's called. So we'll click on footer here. Uh, and then there we go. Uh, receipt footer custom resource name. So what we need to do is we just need to type in what we called that file like so and it's as simple as that and show footer what we'll do is also turn that on as well turn that to true cool and there we have it so when we'll save that now and we'll do a little quick 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 test run here obviously I don't have a printer attached but I should be able to make a little PDF so we'll go to cache cache that off and we will call this uh, test 2 give that a save Okay, that's been put through now, so I should be able to now open up test two. And there you have it. We've now got the footer at the bottom of it, like I said, being very popular with QR codes as well, to scan straight onto into any of your social medias or any advertisement you want on there. You can put anything you want on there. Same, same sort of system as the logo as well. So keep the width about 250 pixels, and obviously the height, you can go a bit crazy on it, but obviously I wouldn't want to print out too long of a piece of paper so obviously keep it relatively square as well so there you have it there you go that's been a little quick tutorial hope it's been useful thank you very much for watching check us out next time thank you